hi everyone so um today we are going to talk about dimes that i've learned throughout 2022 i might put in things that i've learned throughout my life but it is what it is so um i'm going to try and go throughout my list but i'm going to also put in random things so the first one is prayer for me faith is very important as you already know and like i always say i'm not a typical i don't believe in being a typical christian i don't follow everything that i'm told to follow i follow what i believe god is telling me to follow and that might mean that sometimes i'm aggressive when it comes to the things i believe in there are things i stand up for that um the christian culture does not necessarily support and i by culture i mean the people not god because i've realized that if you go to uh, the word of god for example god accepts all of us the same way what god does not do is hide truth from us so you can accept people and not agree with their choices in life right and it also means that we do not have to disqualify people from let's say temples or churches of god altars of god to fit a certain perspective you know like a certain what is it called reputation like the church is supposed to be open to all kinds of people and i'm not saying leadership because leadership takes a lot of responsibility because if you look at the word of god a lot of people were cut off by god completely because of the choices they made even when they were kind of according to our society exceptional people so back to what i was talking about one is prayer the power of prayer i know sometimes you might pray like i had this season in my life where i used to pray for things and i never used to see the result and i used to feel like god was just beaming my prayers somewhere or they were not getting there or the enemy was just picking like where you pick fruits from someone's garden i'm not saying something i've done but i'm saying that's my imagination of how sometimes the enemy works and i've come to realize that sometimes you can pray for something and it does not happen immediately but later on years later on it happens in your life i've seen it with people we used to pray with who like, nothing used to seem like it happening that they are benefiting from prayers that we used to pray years ago you know so number one thing is always pray this is the thing i always hope for that people believe in god because i feel like if you believe in god you have something bigger than yourself you know like there is someone out there who has your back actually not out there they are present with you because god is everywhere so i believe that prayer works no matter how silly it seems you know whatever you pray for god always hears and it might not take the version of fruit that you expect and by fruit i mean result but god always answers prayer number two is work out find a way to work out like you know what is crazy is that physical fitness is actually talked about in the bible and i can't remember which scripture but this was crazy to me to find that like the word the bible speaks about physical fitness like you need to find a way to get your body moving you know in some sort of way don't just especially for people who work at home don't just sit in one place every single day and you don't have a way to get your energy flowing get your blood flowing right like you can wake up early in the morning do a few exercises or you can wake up early go running you know a few miles of walk you know stuff like that like just be active number three is always take your water i think that one i've spoken about it more times than okay the next one is meditation here is what i mean by meditation because there are a lot of versions about meditation that personally i don't believe in because i believe in god and i believe that i'm not under the universe i'm under god's authority and the universe is under my authority because god has given me power over creation so by meditation this is what i mean take god's word you know when you read the bible there are scriptures that speak to you 
there is a way that god finds people to speak into your life and you or to affirm some things that you already know about your life but god confirms them through people meditate on those things meditate on how you envision your life to be meditate on the things you want to achieve in your life the type of person you want to be the type of things you want to stand up for the places you want to be associated with you know the kind of people you want to be associated with and by people this is what i mean because sometimes when you say the type of people you want to be associated with people automatically think wealthy you know you can be with a lot of wealthy people who are not good and you can be with a lot of poor people who are not good so i think our focus should not be status people's status in life it should be what kind of success do you see in them that you want to emulate or be affected by through them so this means that morals do people have boundaries do, do people mind their business do people have something they are actively doing do people have like you know a discipline that you would want to adopt or learn or learn from do people believe in a form of justice that they emulate in their own lives and it's not just by talking you know because we have a lot of people who say a lot of nice things and who dress a certain way to portray a certain reputation but what they say is not exactly what they believe in right so and by this i'll give an example people uh, a lot of people say they believe in justice but when it comes to small things like the places they live in you realize that they don't really believe in justice because people who believe in justice it does not stop for them just because they're outside or inside their home justice is justice everywhere right so that's what i mean by that the next one is goal small and ultimate you have you must have goals that are small and alt and big goals i don't know if you've read atomic habits but i feel like atomic habits was very it's like a book that really is so different because it teaches you how to emulate habits into your character like small habits and it doesn't feel like strain it's like every day you adopt a new thing to do that becomes like it organically happens for you. i don't know if i'm explaining but if you have not read that book i really highly recommend it if you read it it really changes the way you look at things it makes things for you simpler the next one is um, have a vision but i'm laughing because the next one says shower and it's funny because <laughs> you know it's it's common sense but it's not common sense for everyone so please shower shower whether it's cold whether it's sunny whether it's raining whether it's snowing you know please shower when you're clean you feel good about yourself you feel good about the things you're doing people around you are drawn to you they're not resisted from you you get what i'm saying so let's go to the next one i think that one is just basic knowledge the next one is have a vision board by vision board i mean have a um, reformed high-powered version of christ's holy response it is written 